Hi everyone. Recently I read the story about Adam and Eve and uh, in the garden and how they ate the forbidden fruit and you know everything went wrong after that. Um, there's so many so many good teachings from this story that we can take but I don't want to make a long video so I just want to take one teaching uh, for now and maybe in the future I can make another video about other things related to that story. The, if, we, if we look at um, Genesis chapter, chapter 3, the, the serpent comes, uh, who's the devil, and he, what does he do? He twists the words of God, right? He tells, and, and he lies, and he tells Eve that, you know, what God told you is, is, is not true, that if you eat of the fruit, you will surely not die. Right? And what does Eve do? Eve doesn't say, no, God doesn't lie, God tells the truth, I don't believe you. She looks at the fruit and she sees that it looked, it was pleasing to the eye and looked good for food. And she desired it, she was to, he tempted her with the fact that she would have the knowledge of good and evil and be like God. Right? And this is what she, you know, just appealed to her. So he tempted her. And instead of relying on God's word and what he had said, she makes her own mind up. She makes her own judgment. She judges between what the devil said and what he and what God said. She looks at the fruit and decides for herself what is true and what is not true. Okay, now let's contrast that with Jesus when he was in the desert and the devil tempted him. What did he do? Every time the devil tempted him, he turns to the word of God and says, No, this is what the word of God says. I believe the word of God. I don't believe you. You're lying. You're wrong. Now, today, there's a lot of people that use their own judgment to determine what's good, what's evil, what's true, what's false. They don't rely on God's word and, and we need to do that. Otherwise we're going to fall into the traps of the devil. Okay, some people say, well, I don't think sexual immorality is a bad thing. I don't think sleeping with my girlfriend before I marry her is a bad thing. Um, you know, they make up their own mind or I don't think homosexuality is a bad thing, you know, and they reason, they make up, <clears throat> they use their own reasoning to arrive at a conclusion, just like um, Eve did. She used her own reasoning, it looked pleasing to the eye, it looked good for food, it was desirable, so she made up her own mind about whether or not that fruit was a good thing for her to eat, instead of trusting God. So when we disagree, so what do we do? We even if we disagree with something that's in the Bible, something that God has said, instead of saying, no, I don't believe that, right, because the Bible is, is God's word and it's the truth. Instead of saying, no, I don't believe that, I believe this, we should say, wait, I don't, at the moment I don't agree with this, but that means I'm wrong. So I need to understand why I'm wrong and I need to trust what God said, follow what He said, and try and understand. And so, what do we do? We pray. We pray and ask God to help us, to help us understand. And we trust His Word. Thanks, guys.